Several months ago, I set out to identify some LED lights that would offer both the performance and the value similar to a T5 fluorescent light. I was looking for something that would work well for low light plants, such as seedlings or lettuce. What styles of lights will work well in tight spaces just like a T5 does? They offer four foot LED bulbs that are a direct replacement for the fluorescent T5 tubes. They work with existing T5 light fixtures without any modifications. Just pop out your old fluorescent tube and put in the LED. Let's hit a few product highlights and we'll see how these bulbs compare to their fluorescent counterparts. Physically, they look similar, but you turn them over and there you see the heat sink which is able to passively cool these. These bulbs should last you about three times as long as your conventional fluorescent T5 tubes. They claim to give good light diffusion and have a broad spectrum of full white light. Doing all this using less power, generating less heat, and supposedly giving equal or even better growth. I'll be running the Transcend Bulbs in an AgroBright fixture. Now it had been shipped to me with 6400K bulbs and when you compared side by side the Transcend Bulbs, they threw off a light that resembled a T5, but the fluorescent bulbs appeared much bluer and even seemed a little bit brighter to me. That made me wonder what the LEDs were really going to do in a veg cycle. As far as temps go, after running the fluorescence for 20 minutes, the surface of those bulbs reached a blazing 140 degrees Fahrenheit, but the LEDs seem to peak at around 103. What about the power draw? The fluorescence combined were drawing 205 watts, about 51 watts each. Meanwhile, these four LEDs peaked at 92 watts combined, or 23 watts per bulb. Now, seeing this, I once again had reason for concern. So, how were these lights going to do? Yep, it was time to put these lights to the test. My trusty two-foot fluorescent T5 has performed well in the past, so how would Transcend's LED bulbs compare? The two-foot is a 96-watt system, but it draws 86 watts. In contrast, the LEDs cover twice the area with only an extra 6 watts of power. We're doing a crack keys method of hydroponics using a passive system. Each plant is given its own share of an identical large batch of nutrient solution. Right away, I was getting good growth from both the traditional fluorescence as well as the transcend LEDs. But it didn't take long for me to see some slight differences between the two technologies, and I was pleasantly surprised to see the LED plants pulling ahead. Soon, it looked like the transcend LEDs might come out on top. So check out this growth, guys. What do you think? This is pretty impressive, isn't it? Finally, I think I found something that's a good candidate for replacing, completely phasing out a T5 fluorescent light and being able to be used in the exact same fashion, but it uses less power for the given space and it gets at least as good of growth. I'm thinking even better growth. So I'm really excited to see what difference in mass and density that I really have using these, the LEDs, and comparing them to the T5 fluorescent. In the final comparison, I'm going to have to just not really take this one into account. I can tell something was going on with this plant and it really wouldn't be fair to average it into my results. This is a much better candidate for comparison, and I'm just going to specifically compare it to these two. Maybe we'll take an average of these two to see. But it's time to cut these up, harvest them, and see how much they weigh. 
All that I weighed here were the lettuce tops. They were so large that I had to place them on some foam to keep them up off of my table. And then I was able to zero out my scale, allowing me to record accurate results. As expected, that first sample from the T5, not too big, only 72 grams. But the second was much more respectable, coming in at 143. So I'll just use that weight as representative of both in an effort to be fair, and you'll see why. For these LEDs, the first sample was 208 grams and the second was 200. So I'll take an average of these at 204 grams. This is really exciting though. We're looking at a 43% increase in lush, healthy plant growth. And to achieve this, we only needed 7% more power. But here's the best part. I still had room for two more plants underneath that four foot LED system. I think I know what I'm going to be having for dinner tomorrow. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I appreciate your support of my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, happy gardening.